Hi everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas. We are going to go ahead and do a budget check-in for the week of the 7th through the 13th. And let's go ahead and get started with putting down everything that happened this week. So I'm gonna start off with bills. On the 11th, we had Amazon, I can't spell, Kindle. This is a subscription, $12.98 for the Kindle Unlimited. And then on the 12th, we had Discovery Plus subscription for $9.73. That's it for bills so far. The rest of the bills come out the 15th, 16th, you know, all of that type of stuff. We have one business expense that happened and that is web security for my website, 3731. <clears throat> one craft purchase and that was to get new cutting mats for my silhouette because unfortunately I changed out blades and needed to redo a whole bunch of settings on it and ended up cutting through some of the mats that I had accidentally cutting through so I needed to get some more from Amazon and 545 and then we have one personal, also on the 11th. This was buying toothpaste, 12.44. Groceries is the next. So we have HEB on the 8th for 57.67. Then on the 11th, Walmart for $6.98 and Amazon $50.78. I needed to get more of my coffee. And then the last expenses that happened were for gifts. So we have ink and volt for 55.40 and bone it up which is for my older sister's dogs it is like making cookies for it's a cookie making kit for dogs so she asked for that for Christmas for her dogs. So $38.78 for one box. And then on the 12th, we had Amazon. And we are at $156.73. That was present for my mom. And the my cats, my boys. <clears throat> so that is everything. I, somewhere in here, have some of my no spin to trackers. There we go. So doing fairly well on everything. So let's go ahead and take this and start our weekly check-in on everything. So I forgot to bring over some of these from last week. So groceries. <clears throat> we had 57, 67 plus 50, 78 plus 698. Okay. 
Then next we have gifts, so 157.73 plus 38.78. My cat was sharpening his claws on one of the cat trees there. Okay, total in gifts, 250.91. And so far, nothing in miscellaneous. So we continue to stay on track for everything. So that is good. I'm glad to not have any miscellaneous expenses in there as well. I, I definitely <laughs> was tired of seeing that for everything. So let's go ahead and move in to the next thing. And I did get some money for working the election again. And this is just something that popped in. So right now, $68 extra. I may have more, I may not. It depends on if I get any Christmas money from anybody, you know, that type of stuff. So let's go ahead and check in on all of the rest of the things that were not covered in the weekly check-in, which would be personal care. We already had 112. 61 and we are adding 1244 for the toothpaste. So 12505. Oh, we are way over budget over there. So we're there. And then crafts, we are already at we've already spent 8531 and I am going to add in 545 as well and get us to 90.76. And website will be on the business page. So the only other expenses that happened were the Discovery Plus and then I added in that uh, Kindle Unlimited in there as well. So I guess that would be considered a miscellaneous for right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that under $12.98 for that. But I think I'm going to continue on with that for reading and all of that type of stuff. So <clears throat> I'll look at it for next month and everything. So that's where we are standing at right now with all of what's happening. Things will start changing in next week as I start paying bills and everything. This is the transaction log for my sinking fund and I've already, I am keeping track of all the gift funds. So that way I can pull out of my gift sinking fund back here at one time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on here. So that way I have a running total of exactly how much I need to transfer over Oops. And I still have a couple more Amazon purchases for gifts. So we are not going to do anything quite yet on this until I get those to clear, which will be sometime next week. So that is our running total of everything that needs to come out of the sinking funds. Binks is being obnoxious right now, trying to get into the laundry room. I'm not going to do anything on here because nothing has changed at the moment. Savings tracker, debt tracker, nothing has changed. He's trying to get my attention for something and I don't know what he's trying to get my attention for. And then the only other thing is the website security has come out. So we are done with the track-in. So let's kind of turn you around face to face, give you some 
um, a little bit of an update on some stuff. That cat is being obnoxious. Anyways, I am feeling okay with this budget so far. Um, I don't feel like I'm overspending on anything. I'm still well within my gift fund where I'm at right now. And what I bought for my little sister definitely is not $250 worth of gifts. So I am feeling good about everything so far. Again, I still have my bills to come out, which it's fall, winter time, so bills are not that expensive right now. But there is one thing that is going to happen, and I got pre-approval to get a new night guard, and the old night guard that I had was put in before I had a crown put on, and once we put the crown in there, we had to do some adjustments to the night guard and everything. And when I had that night guard, and that's for, so I'm, when I'm sleeping at night, I'm not grinding or clenching my teeth. It's to protect my teeth. And um, when I got that night guard, it was with the previous company that I was with and the previous insurance. So I told my dentist this last time, I'm like, you know, if we want to go ahead and look at, you know, try to see if my insurance, my newer insurance, which it's been five years, um, see if they'll cover some of it and we can get a whole new one and just start fresh. And he's like, okay, let's go ahead and do that. And, um, so they'll cover, I think half of it, I think is what it is, but I will have to pay $307. So that's gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna have to pay it next week when I go to the dentist or if it's gonna wait, like if I'm gonna go get fitted for, it and if they're going to make me pay for it or if they're going to wait until it comes in and then do all the adjustments that need to happen to it once I once it's you know made and everything and then I pay at that point so um but so I don't know if that 307 is going to be in December or January or where it's going to fall but it is something that is going to pop up but it definitely does help with my jaw when I have that night guard in, I've been sleeping with it again for the past couple nights because I've been having muscle tenseness and everything like that and trying to help with drainage with me being having this little allergy attack or whatever it is that I've had and everything. So it's just trying to help with all the keeping my jaw in alignment so that way it's um, all the drainage can happen at night when I'm sleeping. So and then there's Christmas, of course, that's coming up. I'm not going anywhere. My mom is going to be coming down here. She's actually here today to help with yard work. However, it started raining and we're having issues with her tree trimmer thing where the spark plug is dead. And I don't know if she's going to get a new spark plug or what, but um, she's off doing that right now while I'm filming and all of that. So, um, I don't know what else is going to happen for the rest of the month, but I'm going to try to minimize how much I'm spending and all of that type of stuff because it is Christmas. I mean, I'm spending, but it's money that I saved up for the year. And that's why I always have that sinking fund for Christmas gifts because it makes this time of year not stressful for me. And having that just being able to say, okay, this is my budget, $560 to buy for my mom, my sister, both my sisters, me, if I want to, their pets, dogs, cats, and then also to get Christmas cards if I need to. I actually had a plethora of Christmas cards, so I don't need to do that. I also have stamps, so I don't have to buy stamps. And then if I'm going to buy anything for my coworkers or not, so if I do that, I need to go out today to buy stuff for my coworkers. So I'm going to, I'm still debating that on if I'm going to go out and do that this afternoon or not. Um, or if I'm just going to just let it go or what. So um, we'll see where it goes for today. But at, so far, so good. And we're halfway through, almost halfway through the month. So I will be back tomorrow with another video for Vlogmas. 
but I will be back next Friday with another budget check-in. So I hope that you join me on one of my previous videos or one of my next videos. Thank you everybody and have a wonderful day. Bye everybody. Bye.